Hello squirrels and welcome to PPM6 TV. Today what it is is, I'm reaching over here, one of these, an Elgato multi-mount. Now um, at the moment my uh, camera, my Lumix GH2, is mounted on my Manfrotto uh, Magic Arm and um, uh, while we're on the subject of supports the Manfrotto Magic Arm is actually magic. It is absolutely fantastic and it does a great job of supporting the camera. However, I was looking for um, another support, and the reason for that is probably twofold. One is the magic arm is magic. You know, the whole thing tightens and loosens on one lever and it's flexible, it goes in all sorts of directions. But that flexibility actually can be a little bit of a pain because when you slacken the lever, the whole thing goes all wobbly, okay? And um, secondly, it's, it, it's, it's of limited length, you know, the, the, the Manfrotto arm, and it has a lovely great big super clamp at the bottom, uh, but it is of limited length. So I decided to get myself one of these. I can't fit it all in because I've only got, this is a 24mm lens, which is a 48 of course, and it's not wide enough, but I haven't got anything wider. Actually I have, but I'm not going to use that now. Anyway, when I bought this, it's about £50 in the UK, or probably $50 in the States. I was a little bit worried. It's made by Elgato, it's called a multi-mount part of a, a series of accessories and um, I was a little bit worried that it would be made of cheese you know for, for, for that price I thought it'd be made of cheese it is not made of cheese and I was particularly worried about this end um, it comes with this desk clamp and uh, you know when you look at it in the picture and I've got it on Amazon over there when you look at it in the picture the clamp doesn't look beefy and I was thinking oh I wonder if I'm going to get it and it's not going to but actually plenty beef in the clamp you can you can tighten that up it's uh, padded on the inside um not not maybe so much on that side but um it clamps to my desk beautifully okay so that's good it's beefy it's uh, it's clampy um it's it's much much longer uh, capable of being much much longer than the um uh, than the magic arm so oh you got a bit of that and then you got another one out there and you can slacken that off and whoa you know so I don't know could you see that it's kind of long isn't it so um, those are all those are, are, are good things um, but of course nothing is perfect uh, what are the, the the not so good things well the first thing that I found surprising is you can't twist you can't twist the poles now I'm used to booms where you can twist the poles to, to, to turn the thing on the end, whatever that is, you want to turn it so you twist the pot. No, 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 no. That's not how it works. Uh, once you're used to that, that's fair enough. Although I do think that's a little bit of a drop off. Big up to Brian Lintel if he's watching. Um, and, uh, and then we come to this bit. Now, this bit is the bit that I think is probably most problematic. Um, basically, when I loosen it, it's kind of very loose. And look, it goes round and round, but it's not screwed on there. Um, that's something that, that uh, and, and I'll show you how it's fitted on in a minute, but um, you, you would put your camera or whatever on there. That's a quarter inch thread. It's not very deep. I wonder if you can see that. Put my hand on this side. It's kind of not very deep. Um, I'd like a little bit more deep. There's a nice little rubber um, thing there to make you think. But you tighten this thingy and then the whole thing, well, that's locked tight. That's good and tight. That's good and tight. But that ball in there is not one of these. <laughs> Of course it's not. That costs, you know, hundreds of things. Um, so you have got a ball in there, but it's quite small. And, you know, the whole friction, because once you start loosening this, you're not just loosening the ball, you're loosening the thing on the top. And it's kind of, that's how you go round. Um, and I'll show you how that all works. I don't think it's terrible. It's 50 quid, you know, for goodness sake. I don't think it's terrible. But um, it may not, if it had a nice 3-8 thread in there, that'd be great. So you've got a kind of, um, the handle thing's got a brass insert. And then you've got a, a bolt that goes through, a little bolt that goes through. And then the top of this is just a, a, a sort of um, a, a thing with a rebate all the way around. And that's multi-purpose. I think you can fit their extra things onto that, their, their extension bar and stuff like that. And you're left with um, the component bits of the ball, the ball head there, and the two um, clamps. All, all, you know, perfectly decent and acceptable. Um, just maybe um, not as, not as my, nicely machined as a Manfrotto Magic Arm, which will cost you an awful lot 
more. So this thing, I, I put my camera on it. Um, I've, I've gone back to the, the, the magic arm just for this video. I put my camera on it. I, um, uh, I'm going to put a light on it. They do a series of lights. You know, I, I kind of think, well, why is it so, you know, why, yeah, why is it like that? And it's a little bit thingy. Well, because it's 50 quid. However, if you want to spend 50 quid and you want to mount your camera on your desk or you want to mount a light on the desk or whatever it is you want to do, this is certainly not a bad way to spend 50 quid. It's very robust. It's going to last forever. And uh, once you get used to, I think, the foibles of the, the, the collet, the collet has a little sticking point there somewhere. And um, you, you're used to the whole kind of um, how, it, how it works. Yeah, I keep trying to twist it and you shouldn't do that. You just need to extend it. Then um, I think that's going to be... Um, a good addition to my kit. So that's the um, Elgato multi-mount um, available in all good bookshops now. Um, hope you enjoyed the video and the others you see will be short using this as the support. Thanks for coming to PPM6 TV. Do come back soon. Bye for now.